Akio Toyota steps down as JAMA chairman. Ford scales down EV battery plant. Tesla's insurance problems and more. Good morning, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Welcome to First Shift. Coming up, more on those headlines soon. But first, our lead story. Yusin Chung is one of our Automotive News 2023 All-Stars. Under his lead, Hyundai Motor Group has blossomed into an industry innovator. Chung helps put the new in new mobility, with global leadership in a slew of tomorrow's technologies. And he's putting the world's third largest auto group on the map for electric vehicles and hydrogen power. Chung is even coining the phrase metamobility with his vision for transportation in the metaverse. Stay on autonews.com to read more about this year's All-Stars. Toyota's Akio Toyota steps down as chairman of the Japan Automobile Manufacturers Association after leading the industry group for a record three terms. The former chairman of Toyota will hand off the helm to Isuzu chairman Masanori Kateyama, chairman of Isuzu Motors. Kateyama's appointment is the first time JAMA's top job will be filled by the boss of a truck maker since the industry group's founding in 1967. Toyota leaves behind a strong legacy. Ford scales down EV battery plant in Marshall, Michigan. The project is now expected to create 1,700 jobs, a 32% reduction from the 2,500 previously announced and planned capacity of the lithium iron phosphate battery plant is being slashed by more than 40 percent to just 20 gigawatt hours. Total investment in the plant will likely be reduced by the same measure to roughly $2.2 billion from $3.5 billion. Tesla launched its own car insurance, but drivers say it's a lemon. The insurer's problems fit into a pattern of rushed and sloppy management, leading to troubles across Elon Musk's technology and manufacturing empire. Launched in 2019, Tesla Insurance has promised policyholders vastly better services than rivals. And Musk said he aimed to offer same-day collision repairs. But customers are having problems with the insurance. You can read more on these stories in our newsletter, The Daily. To subscribe, go to the More section on our website and click Newsletters on the left side of the screen. European investment in EVs will remain largely unaffected by weakening EV demand. In contrast to the U.S., automakers and analysts have forecast weaker EV growth in the near term for Europe. The slowdown is driven by high interest rates, shrinking new car order banks, and sluggish economic growth. EV growth in Europe will slow to 15% in 2024, over 23 numbers. That's down on the 25% increase on figures expected this year. And the EV slowdown has caused some automakers to scale back its EV growth plan. Get ready, because Cadillac will add the Optic EV compact crossover to its lineup. It will slot below the mid-size Lyric and serve as the gateway to Cadillac's upcoming all-electric portfolio in North America. Cadillac also appears ready to sell the optic in key markets, such as China and most likely Europe. It will be formally revealed in 2024. That's all we have for today. I'm Laura Harris, Automotive News.